This video was made possible using Midjourney's latest zoom out feature, which enables the user to zoom out an image unlimited times. It is way easier than it actually looks. Let's get into the video without wasting any time. I am currently using Midjourney 5.2, which has this zoom out option. To enable Midjourney 5.2, go to slash settings and there will be an option of switching it from 5.0 to 5.2. Once you are right here, as you can see, these are all the images that I zoomed out and created that video which you saw in the beginning. First I generated a couple of images, a narrow street with old European architecture, night time and I kept the aspect ratio 9 is to 16. Now make sure you keep the aspect ratio of all the images 9 is to 16. I chose this image right here. Once you have chosen an image that you want to begin from, just upscale the image. After upscaling the image, you will get these three options, zoom out 2x, zoom out 1.5x, custom zoom. First I zoomed out this image and I got these four options. Now out of these four options, you can choose one option and that will be your second image that you use as frame in your video. After that, you can click on custom zoom. As you can see, I clicked on custom zoom and edited this prompt right here. I kept the aspect ratio same. And instead of writing this prompt, I edited this prompt and wrote this prompt right here. A photo frame in a haunted nightclub, broken tables and chair, photography, aspect ratio 9 is to 16. And zoom was 2x. I got all these images from which I chose the third image and I upscaled the third image. And so on. Once I upscaled the third image, I clicked on zoom out 2x without even changing the prompt because I needed the nightclub to extend outwards and as you can see I got these 4 options. And this is the process you need to follow in order to create a number of frames for your video. The more frames you have the better the video will come out to be. Let's begin creating a small scene. Just assume that this is the first image that you are going to use as your video. Now you can click on custom zoom and then change this prompt in order to get a different result. So instead of the simple prompt, I added water flooding in the city and I kept the aspect ratio 9 is to 16 and zoom 2x. And then let's click on submit. And as you can see, we have four options. Now just choose one option and let's upscale. I think I'm going to upscale this one right here. The fourth option. So click on U4. Now once again let's click on custom zoom and this time I'm going to change the whole prompt. I'll just leave this part and I will write desert. So something related to a desert. These are all the results for a dried up desert and I'm going to select the first image in order to continue the whole video. In order to achieve this result I wrote this prompt right here, a desert with dried up trees, old rusted vehicles, photography. And now I'm going to zoom out 2x one more time so that it gets a wider view. I'm actually really happy with all the images, but I'm going to go with the third image as it looks a bit accurate according to what I want. So I'll click on U3. I'll also click on U4 so that I can compare the two images, U2 actually. The two images are finally upscaled. Um, I'm liking this image. This was the second image. I want to zoom it out one more time. So I'm going to click on zoom out. This is the same image zoomed out one more time. Now I'll show you all the images that I've generated so far for the video. So this is my mid journey home page and I started generating images from right here this frame. So one, two, three and then like this, 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 this and it went on. It came into the city and the city turned into a desert and this is the last image. Now I may generate some more images. Now the next step is to take all the images into Photoshop and upscale the images because we are going to zoom in the images. So it should not pixelate. So upscaling the images is very important. 
open photoshop and for this we are going to use the actions tab go to windows and enable actions from right here then just add a new action give your action a name and click on record once you have created an action import your first image into photoshop once you have imported the image go to image image size and now we are going to change the size of the image in order to upscale it this is the exact image size that you need to use for your own images and then the next step is to go to this option right here and enable preserve details 2.0 you will have this option enabled but you need to change it to preserve details 2.0 and if you do not have this option showing in your tab then go to edit preferences technologies and you can enable this option from right there now click on okay and your image is upscaled means the size and resolution of the image has increased now just click on pause and now you can save your image by going to file save as create a new folder name your folder final and then you can save your image in that folder after you have set up this action tab the action will be feeded right here then now just import your next image into photoshop and then click on this and that action will be repeated automatically now you can just go and save the file so click on save and save the file in your final folder once you have done all the images the next step is to go to after effects open after effects create a new composition and keep the composition size 1018 to 1920 the frame rate should be 60 and the duration of the video according to the images so if one image is 2 seconds long let's import the images into after effects so let's go to the file and drag and drop these files into the composition and now just click and drop all these images according to sequence so we'll select all these images and then the tenth image right here drag and drop now i have all these images in sequence and i want one image to be 2 seconds long so i will bring my so i'll bring this cursor right here select all the images click on alt now press s on the keyboard for scale and then click on go to the first frame click on this stopwatch go to the last frame by clicking on o and then change this 100 200 so that it scales into 2 and then click on enter and we have scaled all the images into 2 successfully now i'll add gaussian blur on all the images so that the transitions are smooth so let's go to the effects panel and type in gaussian blur drag and drop gaussian blur on one of the frames and then create an animation now just drag and drop gaussian blur on one of the images and then set the timing of gaussian blur from this to half of a second maybe around right here and put the value to 3.5 and then just copy this and paste it on all the images now in order to place all the images according to sequence so that we can create an animation just click on the first image press o click on the second image press this button and then go to the end of this layer by clicking on o go to the next layer and click on this button again click on o next layer 
this button and so on and place all the images according to sequence and this is the final result now just click on file export add to render queue set a location where you want to save your video and click on save and then enter and it will begin to render so this was it for the video if you like the video then subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with some more ai related content in my next video